Hi, Matt Friedjonsson. Last weekend, our team has won the fourth game in a row. Um, you came back to Kiel with a 1-0 win. What are re the reasons why that this squad is so successful in the last weeks? I think we just uh, we are working as a team. I think uh, yeah, last year it was a little bit uh, different, but now we are, everybody's doing the work together and. Uh, yeah, it's just. Uh, I think that's the biggest difference. We are just a really, really good team at the moment, and we are, yeah, working together. Um, you were brought on in Düsseldorf ten minutes before the end of the match. So, what did the coach tell you? Did he say like more um, try to win the headers in the defense, mm -hmm. or stay in the front to to keep the ball to be able to do counter attacks? What did he tell you? Yeah, they were they were pressuring us a lot, so we didn't have a lot at, at the front at the moment. So we were staying a little bit at the back. So yeah, he wanted me to try to keep the ball and yeah, try to spend some time with the ball up the front. But it was uh, difficult. So uh, yeah, I managed to win some headers in the defense as well. So I think that's good. Um, you're 30 now, so um, you belong to the more experienced uh, players of the squad. Um, how do you see a role? Do you, do you give like uh, advice to the other people or to the other players, or do you leave that to to players like Louis Hopi or Steven Skripsky? <laughs> I think Louis takes that uh, responsibility completely by himself. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm just a little clown in the team. I try to keep everyone happy and uh, make some jokes, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's my part now, and uh, that's fun. That's also important. Um, but uh, talking about your role on the pitch, uh, what, uh, how would you describe your qualities and one of the moments that, that you can show them at the best time? My qualities, I just, I'm a, like you say, I'm a target striker. I'm a little bit different than the other guys. Uh, they are a little bit more faster and agile than me. Uh, yeah, when I, come, when I play, I'm just trying to keep the ball and get us higher on the pitch and uh, try to be in the box when we get some crosses and uh, score some goals. Let's talk about the match on Saturday. It's the last match before the Christmas break. Um, it's 8:30 in the evening. The floodlight will be on. Lots of players uh, and lots, sorry, lots of uh, supporters uh, in the stadium. Um, how big is your excitement? I'm really looking forward to it. I hope we can end the season on the good notes like we've been doing. So, uh, yeah, we just want to take the three points and have a good Christmas vacation and start the next uh, part of the season fresh. Um, and what do you expect? Hannover is eight points behind us, but they have quite uh, big ambitions to get up to the Bundesliga. So what do you expect? I think, of course, every game in this league, I feel like everybody can win everybody. So we just have to be doing what we have been doing. Just be on our game and think about us and try to play our best game. And not think too much about the opponent, but uh, just uh, yeah, like we've been doing. It's been great and uh, I hope we can just keep doing that. You already uh, mentioned the, the Christmas break. How will your Christmas break be? Would you go directly after the Hanover game back to Iceland or do you, do you have other plans? No, I will go on Sunday to Iceland and uh, I will spend my Christmas there. I was in uh, Tenerife last year and I feels a little bit like I just skipped the Christmas. So I'm looking forward to go home and spend it in the snow and the cold and uh, with the family and in the dark. We, so it's going to be nice. I'm looking forward to it. Do you have any special Christmas traditions in Iceland, like eating special dish or having a special game that you play? No, no. I, I, we, we play board games, of course. Uh, my family and uh, yeah, we always do that and uh, open the packages and uh, just yeah, we always eat turkey in my place. So, but it's different compared to family. So, but that's our tradition and uh, it's not really, yeah, it's just how it is. And different from other countries. Different from other countries, maybe. Yeah. And, uh, okay. So we wish you a good last, uh, good last match and also a good Christmas break. Thanks.